I got my mask on. I got my respirator on. I know I said before, I don't know if you can hear me very good. I got my respirator on, but I know I said before that I might not be taking these, these part, this bulkhead off. Well, this is the bulkhead. That's the solid part. Here, how can I show you? Give me, yeah, here. This is solid. This not so much. <laughs> So this is just, this is just a, a fiberglass covered hunk of foam, really, that allowed water to get in. So it's got to come out. So I guarantee you there's a bunch of water in there. I thought maybe if I just drill through here all the way down past this part, you know, the water can drain over time, whatever. But I'm just going to get rid of it. This stays. This, 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 this stuff is real... It's all composite stuff, and it's real solid. So this has got to come off. And I'm also gonna, and I'm also gonna, maybe hopefully today, cut these uh, stringers down. The fiberglass, the hull. Respirator on. These things are great. So, see how easy they cut through that stuff? It's awesome. You can see all of that fiberglass dust, huh? Well, let's see what we got there. Am I not cut yet? Seems solid there. It might go have something that goes across. So I'll figure that out later. This has got to go. Can you see that? Yeah. There's a hard spot. Jiggling around. Let's see. Is that a better angle? Just take this off. I can see what's going on in there. Uh. Sure seems soft though. Let's just rip it across. I don't know if I have another one of these. I gotta look for it. 
And you can turn these, so that might help. Let's try that out. Wait, 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 wait. It's all garbage. Let's go across. garbage sucking wet <coughs> look at this wood so it used to be wood right look at that it used to be wood yeah wood don't belong in boats unless you get a hundred percent guarantee
that it's going to stay dry. And foam don't belong in boats. I guarantee, look at this. Look at this. I just took this chunk off. I just took this chunk off of here and it's just filled with water. It's just filled with water. Look at that. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm glad I took this off. So all of this has to go out to you. See, look at this. This is where they inject, this is where they get holes where they inject the foam. And they think it's not going to go wet? I think they live on another planet. And you can see just all the water in there. Look. This is not a trick. This is not a trick. This is not a magic trick. It's just filled with water. So if you think this provided flotation, no, you could put a you could put an aquarium in here. You can keep fish alive in here. See, this is a live well. It's a foam-filled live well. You like that? Alright, I'm done for now because I want all this dust to settle. Because I don't want to cough for another five days from breathing this junk in. Hope you heard that stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I'll look at the videotape. Maybe I'll uh, voice, over, voice it over or something. We'll see. Thanks, y'all. I lied. I'm going to take the other side out, too. I took that side out. I got my respirator in. But I took that side out, and it's just filled with water. And that was, those are my initial cuts. I didn't know what I was cutting into. Now I do. Might as well just go ahead, cut this open. That way I can get the cutting part out and all the dust from the uh, fiberglass out of the way, air it out in here. And then I could dig out the foam in peace. Cool, man. Let me uh, start cutting.
see the water coming up right there. splashing out. I need a crowbar. 
Чтобы вот это... Can't find my wound bar. Hold on. And look at the wet. You can just see all the wet. All the water. All the garbanzo beans. Dry there. That's kind of interesting. But that's it. The other side was mo way more rotten. Oh, boy. All right, where's my shovel? I love this shovel. I use it so many times. Watch this. All the wet. What? This one's a little drier. Just got wet on top, I guess. Look at the bottom. And the sides. Look at this. Look at what's inside of your boat. Just rotten wood filled with water. Come on. Well, you can see it's just wet as heck. And there's your drips. So, I'll let this dry out a bit. Oh, I'll let the fiberglass dust settle, and I'll come back and clean it all out. Yeah, look at that. Look at the water in the bottom. Look at the water in the bottom. Stuff just filled with water. Does zero good. So that's cool. I will fix it. Just filled with water. You know, you think it looks dry, but you feel it, it's heavy. Just filled with water. And then here, you can see where it's absolutely soaking with water. You can see that, look at that. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's an aquarium. Aquarium in your boat. I'm kind of wondering. I'm sure this box is sealed and it does not go down to the floor. Look at, look at all this sopping, sopping wet water. Look at all of that.
All right. I'm going to go ahead and chisel out this much off of, off of this side, too. So let's see what that looks like. The shovel makes short work of it. You know, look at this. Just soaking, soaking, soaking. And the other stuff wet too, so don't think it's just a little bit. This is wet right here. You can see, look at that water coming off. You know, this is super soaked. And then this is all, all wet too. Don't think that this is not wet. Look at that water. This is filled with water. It's an aquarium. This is just stuff that's been soaked for a hundred years, while this is stuff that's been soaked for 50 years. <laughs> Something like that. That's my theory. Look at the bottom. Sap and wet, sap and wet. I hope you can see all of that. I love this shovel. I love the curve in it. Really helps you pry stuff. I don't know if you can hear I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> look at this. Hey, look at that. I think there's a crappie in there. We can go fishing. Look at that. We can go fishing. Here's the boat. <laughs> Look at this. It's unbelievable. This is what's in the bottom of your boat. This is this is on top kind of thing. This is not the bottom of the boat. Whoa, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You guys took a flip. Look at that water. You feel a bucket. There it is. I'm telling you, you can crappie fish right in here inside your boat. skin off. Look at that. This is fiberglass right here. Don't do that. Don't do what I did. I gotta get a sponge and get this out. And a bucket to put the foam in. And a band-aid. <laughs> Ouch. Super soak stuff. 
so it doesn't drain into the boat again. <laughs> Get a sponge. Uh, I gotta get a sponge. I'll be back. I got the respirator off. I got a small container and a sponge. Let's soak up the water. I had a uh, opening the garage. I had the whole house fan on while I went and got sponge in the bucket. So hopefully the air is a little bit better in here. You know, it's just really kicked up dust. And dust probably all settled. I sucked off the air. We're good. But I should keep this water. Look at look at all this water. I added none. And this is not in the bottom of the boat. And they did such a shoddy job with their fiberglass that I actually cut my finger. No big deal. Fingers healed. This is the spot right here where I cut my finger on that, on this bed. Fiberglassing they did. But in the small area, you know, there's so much water. It's unbelievable. You know, these things are full of water. This is, this is, this one is solid full of water. Here. Look at that. This is the foam. And it's nothing, you also don't put it in the sponge, in my opinion. <laughs> you put a sponge. Here, collect the water here. See, what's normally you do with sponges is you soak the water out and you squeeze the sponge out. Oh. So that's that one. This was a super wet one. This one looks like it might be a little bit drier because it's dry up here and it's not completely toast, but there's still a ton of water in there. So, I don't know. Here, I'm gonna smack at that too. Since I'm this far, since I'm this far, right? Oh. Let's see if we, See, I actually cut more out. I, I was debating whether to cut more of this out or leave the flange in there. So yeah, I got something to fiberglass to. I don't know. I've never done a boat before. But let's see. I guess we'll cut that. And it's not fiberglass. So maybe I can get away without a respirator. But I don't know. Maybe I just beat on it with oh, my spade. See? It even cuts wood. Kinda. I guess it needs to be cut. I guess we gotta get rid of the wood. Circular saw or this goofy thing? I think this thing will produce less dust, right? I think that uh, fiberglass was actually stuck to this, right? 
That's my hot water heater going. You can hear it. So. sucks stinks something like that my hammer can knock it out I wonder where my window bar is or even my crowbar but I got this that big hammer fixes everything doesn't don't you know don't you know I found my Wonder Bar. You guys know this has a Wonder Bar too? Doesn't say it on there, does it? I don't know. I don't know. With my Wonder Bar, my big hammer. Let's get this up higher so you can see me beating on it, right? out there my neighbors must think I'm nuts in the garage talking to myself they don't know me like you guys you guys know I'm nuts right for the garbage right there and I could just go straight into the garbage. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Scoop it out. Oops, missed the. Guess I need a bigger box. Wet. 
sap and wet it. If I hold this long enough, see, look at that. It's just dripping. I'm not even squeezing it. If I squeeze it, it just, it just rains. Look at this stuff. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And don't forget, we already did this between all the stringers and the rest of the boat. I kind of didn't expect as much water to be here because this is above. But the problem is, is there's no drain holes in here. So everything that went into these holes that they put in here to put that foam in there all that water is right here. <laughs> See? And I'll get some more out of this one. Watch out, camera. Oh, I found the corner that might have provided flotation. <laughs> there was an ant colony in here. I wonder if it was in this. I do have some weird stuff. And all right, this can kind of dry out now. And then I can vacuum it.